Uh, ADX is a little bit different. Uh, so let's move on to the silver. Okay, taking a look at the uh, silver spot price. Uh, a white body occurred um, on yesterday's close because prices closed higher than they opened. Through the past 10 bars, there have been five white up candles and five black down candles. And during the past 50 bars, there have been 24 white up candles and 24 black down candles. Taking a look at the swing index. We have a pulse scans reading of 21.16 and a swing VIX reading of 23.23. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. And the pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX two periods ago. As you can see, we went from blue to red, and that were three trading sessions into it. Um, the trend channel is down, and that means that negative momentum has entered the market, so we expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days, and we are three sessions into it now, with today, uh, you know, Friday starting the 4th. Uh, let's see, moving ahead. Uh, the last signal that we got was an overbought sell 57 periods ago. We're not overbought or oversold. With a, a 21 reading on the post scan, we could uh, we have significant upside or downside. We can go here, so we're not anywhere near close to that. Uh, let's see. The swing mix cross is moving average since that has happened. Uh, the price on silver spot has decreased 0.59% and has ranged from a high of $18.96 to a low of $18.17. Uh, the market trend is up and the trend momentum is very bullish. Uh, we are trading above the long term and intermediate term moving averages, but not the short term period moving average. Uh, hence this, uh, this, this 1 and the 10 here. So letting you know that based on yesterday's activity, we put in a support of 1817. So uh, Friday's trading should put in a, uh, a resistance. And then on Monday, we should get a break from either the, the, the higher or the low, swing higher or low. And we'll make a decision if the market wants to continue to be bullish or if it's going to be, be, uh, be bearish. Turn strength is bullish consolidation, which means we're still in a bullish pattern, as you can see here. However, right now, we, um, we're, we're kind of stalled. Uh, we, we topped here tried to test it here and failed so we might uh, we might break down and get back and, and get back below here if we get if we get below here that could spell uh, disaster for the silver because then the next stop is back down to the $16 level into next week all right as far as entry points for Friday we do have a buy recommendation uh, in Pandora's little black box we have a possible intraday first pulse wave consolidation breakout at $18.85. So we will look to buy that with a profit target of $20.44 and a stop and reverse at $18.42. Our intraday price projections for Friday are as follows. We have resistance at $18.65 and support at $18.31. That's all we have on gold and silver. Uh, let's move on to the Forex. Okay, first let's take a look at uh, crude oil, especially the crude oil futures. Uh, a white body occurred based on yesterday's trading because prices closed higher than they opened. During the past 10 bars, there have been six white up candles and four black down candles for a net of two white up candles. Through the past 50 bars, there have been 24 white up candles and 26 black down candles for a net of two black down candles. Uh, looking at the swing index, uh, we are hitting a 31.11 uh, on the pulse scan. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line, and the pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX two periods ago, and it did that from a um, from a neutral position. Whenever we have a reading. Whenever you see a white uh, bar or a black bar, that is a, um, it's not a consolidated market, but it's a neutral market. What that means is it's neither bullish nor bearish, regardless of the uh, severity of the movement. It just means that the market has not decided if it's bullish or bearish. And that usually if uh, longs are liquidating or shorts are liquidating or there's kind of like a, uh, a tug of war uh, with price. 
So that's what that means when you see the white or the black candles. Based on yesterday, we have significant action around the short-term period moving average. And as you can see here, uh, we're still ultra consolidated. Back on June the 9th, we put in a, uh, a resistance of 74.96, but it didn't hold. And now yesterday, we put in a support of 75.32, and it probably won't hold either. We'll see how we close the day to determine what's going to happen on Monday or Tuesday. But right now, as it stands, the trend channel is down. We have negative momentum in the market, so we expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days, which means we're probably not we're three days into it as of, as of uh, Thursday's close. We have Friday and Monday uh, that we can still be down. So we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, the last uh, overbought, oversold signal was two periods ago, which was an overbought sell. Uh, let's see here. The uh, swing VIX crosses since its cross is moving average. The uh, the NYMEX crude oil futures price has decreased 0.91 percent. It has ranged from a high of 70 uh, 78.10 to a low of 75.17. Uh, currently, the trend is nothing, which means right now uh, the market's neutral and trend momentum is bullish. And we're trading above the long-term and intermediate-term moving averages, but below the short-term moving average. So we need to see what happens at $75.52 on Friday. We need to get a close above that to put in a continuation of a bullish position. If we close below $75.52, that sets us up for more downside potential, and we're going to probably test this area here around 76 uh, 51 we'll probably get down to the $71 mark somewhere around in there and as far as volatility uh, we closed below the upper band on Thursday by 30.7 percent no entry or exit signals planned for Friday okay I'm done for a moment I was just filming until you came back to the